Angela, well, we are learning more tonight about the little four-year-old girl in Lebanon who was killed at home in what has been deemed an accidental shooting. The gun owner is in custody now awaiting charges. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson is in Lebanon tonight to tell us why this particular death hit so close to home for police. Steve. Police could not say much about the shooting here at the house you see behind me because it is an ongoing investigation. But what we did learn that many officers here in Lebanon knew the little girl personally, including the chief of police. There were tears shed on this department. Lebanon Police Chief Tyson Warmoth and his department are all heartbroken about a four-year-old girl hit by gunfire. It happened here at the family's home, where paramedics rushed Isabella Marie Hellam to the hospital in critical condition. Police find it hard to believe it happened to a little girl they knew and loved. Uh, that little girl had spent time here in my office jumping over there on my couch and eating candy from my desk. The shooting happened November 29th as Isabella Marie's grandmother babysat her here at the house. Police learned the grandmother's ex-husband reportedly left a handgun on the floor under the couch the morning of the shooting. The girl's two-year-old brother found the gun and fired it, striking Isabella Marie. Now, the ex-husband, 63-year-old Daryl Marbury of East Chicago, Indiana, faces charges for the shooting. Police say it should have never happened. Remember, the adult is the one responsible for firearm safety, but to simple run the cable lock through the weapon. As police work on transporting Marbury back to Lebanon from Lake County, the chief wants to get gun locks in every home. We never want that to happen again. And because of what happened to that four-year-old, the chief urges everyone with weapons in the home to secure them so this doesn't happen again. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson. Steve, thank you.